Hi, this is your host, Agni Bharatiya, and welcome to our yearly predictions video series. Today we have with us once again Dutan Orovitz, Principal Developer Advocate and Cloud Native Ambassador at Logs.io. Dutan, it's great to have you back on the show. Glad to be here again. So thank you for inviting me. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Of course, I'm going to ask you to grab your crystal ball and share some predictions with us. But before that, just tell us a bit about the company. What do you folks do? Logs.io provides a cloud native observability platform that's uh, based on the best of breed open source out there. So Prometheus, Jaeger, OpenTelemetry, uh, OpenSearch, and so on, and gives it uh, in a managed and scalable fashion and uh, cost-effective fashion. That's in a nutshell. Now it's time for you to pick up your crystal ball and share your predictions with us. Maybe we should start with the OpenTelemetry. I've been uh, involved with this open source project for uh, uh, quite a, a few years under the CNCF, the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, also in my capacity as a CNCF ambassador. And it's a, it's a significant element in the, uh, in the observability space. So starting there, we've seen a major milestone uh, this year that we've reached the general availability of all the three pillars of observability. So logs being the latest and obviously joining metrics and traces. And now that we see this reaching uh, general availability, I do expect to see the next step is that increased adoption among the end users, as well as the observability vendors themselves. So pushing out the proprietary uh, uh, and open source telemetry shippers and converging around this. So this is going to be a very interesting trend to see more deployments of open telemetry in GA in production. And obviously, uh, beyond that, uh, beyond the logs, metrics, and traces, we're going to go uh, past that to new signals. Now the focus is going to move into uh, continuous profiling as yet another critical element within uh, observability. And lastly, but very, very importantly, is the productization. So I do see a lot of effort that we're going to put on making it production grade so that uh, you have a means to deploy, to configure, to monitor the, the observability, open telemetry uh, at scale in production. So this, these are the main areas that we're going to see to make it more, uh, you, uh, also the uh, instrumentation part, ease of operation, stability, performance, these are going to be the focus. That's on, on open telemetry. And now looking on the broader observability scheme, I think that uh, we've been struggling with the uh, tool sprawl and the data silos, and but this is definitely going to be a main um, challenge also uh, and main uh, focus for, for next year. Uh, we're going to see moving up the stack uh, and going into focus on the data analytics backend. So instead of just collecting these logs, metrics, and traces that I mentioned before, is going to actually look at the insights and how we draw insights into these vast amounts of data uh, and making more focus on uh, the data analytics backend, on data analytics paradigm shift, uh, as I call it, and also in utilizing AI and machine learning to uh, draw these insights out of the data. This is going to be very uh, much a focus in 2024. And looking beyond uh, that into the broader uh, DevOps space, uh, we've seen a lot of hype around uh, platform engineering uh, this year. What I expect for next year is actually uh, to, uh, for the hype, going beyond the hype and into actually implementing that in a production grade manner. So we already seen the, the, the new the seeds of the hyperscalers that have already implemented that at scale and they started sharing their knowledge with the community. And what I uh, foresee is that we can actually take this aggregated knowledge and actually implement it, especially the cultural change within the company, instilling this collaboration between a central platform engineering team and the distributed DevOps and, and, and product engineering teams to be able to avoid making it yet another silo and actually make it work in scale and, uh, and uh, across medium uh, and small organizations as well, not just the large enterprises. What kind of challenges you see will be there in 2024, not just for the industry's ecosystem and even for Logs.io to handle and tackle for uh, users? I think the, one of the big things that we see is the need for um, organizational change to make sure I talked about platform engineering. So platform engineering, my concern is that it will become uh, yet another organizational silo. And this is something that we need to be uh, very mind focused on as an industry and as a community uh, in general. And this will require a lot of uh, uh, 
adopting new culture. It's a bit of a maybe uh, it can ring a bell from the days of DevOps that uh, you and I remember, but maybe in even a, a, a higher scale, uh, being able to uh, make this central versus distributed DevOps versus the the uh, The platform engineering versus the product engineering teams, this is something that has been uh, quite challenging uh, uh, this year. And as we grow the adoption of platform engineering, I expect this to be uh, definitely a challenge. Uh, this is one. And uh, another challenge that um, I see, especially in the current uh, economic climate, uh, I'll definitely see a lot of increased pressure on optimizing the IT costs. Uh, and that uh, has a lots of aspects to it. Uh, there's uh, the tool sprawl that I mentioned that a lot of organizations are looking to uh, consolidate and find one uh, tool to aggregate as much as possible under it. We're talking about the bloat of data. We heard a lot of uh, uh, high profile stories this year about uh, uh, costs of uh, observability, for, for instance. So uh, this is going to be uh, a challenge. The big data challenge is now arriving to the operational side of the house. And also uh, the complex uh, cloud billing schemes. Uh, we just saw um, a few weeks ago, uh, recently, sorry, at the end of uh, 2023, we've seen uh, with the, the FinOps Foundation, the release of Focus, uh, which is a new specification for uh, cloud uh, billing. And this is a step in the right direction that I expect to see accelerating into 2024 in this year. Uh, where we, as an industry, try to uh, create better FinOps observability and control into our systems across cloud and cloud-native systems. So these are the main challenges that I think uh, we, as an industry, are going to face uh, in this domain in 2024. And looking at these challenges, what do you, oh, and of course, opportunity, what do you see is going to be the focus for Logs.io? We at Logs.io are definitely going to focus on uh, the unified observability experience. This is something that we've been hearing a lot of the growing demand around, uh, both from a cost perspective and from efficiency perspective, uh, and the, uh, the need for consolidation. So a lot of effort is going to be on a unified experience, more advanced and intuitive user experience, and moving beyond uh, the individual siloed interfaces. So, so we've been offering uh, Jaeger uh, as an interface and, and the open search interface and Prometheus interface and so on. But uh, our users actually expect also to have the higher tier that will consolidate all of these together, something that does not exist, obviously, out there with the discrete open source project. So this is going to be a fascinating journey that we've already started with Kubernetes 360 and the App 360 that we released. Um, another aspect is the uh, AI assistance. As I mentioned, AI and machine learning as a way to surface uh, issues in your system is something that is going to be a main uh, focus the ability to uh, uh, work on integration with generative AI to be able to uh, express in natural language and get also input in natural language. So uh, and expressing queries in natural language instead of a specific Lucene on PromQL or something like that. The ability to get insights on what goes on in the system. Uh, lots of effort is going to be around the AI. And the last part is about, I, I mentioned about the fact that we as an industry are going up the stack as in observability. There's a lot of convergence with uh, APM, Application Performance Monitoring. We're going to double down on this. We're going to put a lot of fo focus on application observability uh, that gives the uh, essential capabilities that we grown used to in traditional, you know, maybe monolithic uh, pre-cloud native era with APM, but in a cloud native fashion, in a lean fashion, and, and maybe less heavyweight one, Uh, as part of uh, Logs.io's Logs uh, Open360 platform. Dutan, thank you so much for taking time out today and share these predictions with us. Of course, I would love to have you back on the show again next year to not only see how many of your predictions turn out to be true, but also to get this next set of predictions. Uh, thank you so much. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me.